Who the hell is this? This is Lori. Hmm. Nice to meet you, Lori. What a wonderful day for you to start working on a day it appears I am no longer running Hillbow Bed and Breakfast. I was going to tell you, but you weren't here this Oh, time. well, I'm so sorry I was late, boss. Next time I'll be early. Is there anything else you would like for me to do? Huh? Oh. I would love to change the name of my hotel to, uh, we give work to raggedy bitches off the street hotel. Uncle George, you don't- Don't Uncle George me right now, Felicia, please. Now, who the hell are you and why are you working here? It's not working, just volunteering. Oh, how nice of you to take this day to volunteer. How, um, very altruistic of you. She's my landlord's sister. Oh, come on now, Felicia. You know mayors are slow as monk. I'm already having a hard time keeping Brenda and Danny at the front desk on. Just let her work with me. Felicia. And we'll s split my wages. What the hell's going on here? You two, uh, you know, uh... Stop it. I understand. Go ahead. What? Lori thinks she saw something in 306. And? She thinks maybe you should investigate it. You know who stays in 306. 306 pays for yours and Brenda's salary when it comes down to it. And he pays in cash. Don't you think that's weird? It's none of my business. It will be if the police find out what he's doing in there. She speaks. Hallelujah. Just check into it, okay, George? Well, what's he doing? Cooking drugs. And how do you know this? I just, I just know it. Are you too involved in this too? Felicia? George, does it look like I'm involved in cooking drugs? Because I'm not. I am getting really sick of playing this employee boss bullshit we got going here just because you got other people helping you run this hellhole now. But you just check into the fucking thing for me, okay? Damn. All right, I'll have somebody up here to check out the room, okay? Thank you. Tell your mama to call me. Thinking about Thanksgiving in my place this year. Yeah, you talk to her more than I do. Close my door. You know that crazy motherfucker had three warrants for his arrest. Two in Texas and one in California. And his name wasn't even Jacob. That was his brother's name. You called the cops? Came in and busted him at six in the morning. Brother was still in his drawers. You tell me how you knew, because they was asking me, and I had to say some junkie came by looking for him. Then they asked me to describe the junkie, and I, I, I couldn't think, so I described Danny at the front desk. I could just tell. I know that. The question is, how could you just tell? Do you really want to know how this young girl with her first clean job knows who's selling drugs on the street? You really want to know that? I don't. I can't. Oh, Lord. George, just chill out, okay? Just be glad that we got the drug dealer out of this hotel. Now, if you don't mind, we're going to go back to clean. Yeah, yeah, yes, and then don't let them arrest Danny if they come back. There she is. I'm so sorry I'm late. I had car trouble. I got stuck in traffic, almost got in an accident. You know, those damn drunk drivers. That's fine. I just got here myself. It's very nice to meet you, Miss Reese. Oh, please, call me Leah. Walter? Leah, could you come by my office after you finish your conferences? Mm -hmm. Nice meeting you, Maureen. Hi. Uh, sit down, Leah. You know, I think I should be You're going to sit down, and you're going to talk to the man. Come on. We want your cooperation, obviously. It's very important that we have full support. You sign this paper, and I won't press you too hard as to why you were snooping about my office today. Hey! Did you put that sign there? What's the tape dispenser for? Oh, um, I, I just carry it with me, you know, just in case. <laughs> Can I see some ID, please? Yeah, yeah, of course. Let me get... Hey! Hey! 